How's it going everybody? My name is MDK and this will be a video about installing Java through a bash script that I compiled together from the previous use command. So if you want to do this the manual way, feel free to. If you just want to run my script, go for it. So essentially, how you want to get my script is in the video description there will be a link to a Dropbox account, which is mine. And you just copy it and go to Firefox and boom. I was trying to figure out if I could get this to work with wget and I did not have any success so what you want to do is make sure you know where this is going that will actually help a lot so now it's living in my downloads directory as you can see so what you want to do is the first thing sudo chmod 777 and the file name uh, the chmod 777 is essentially it's the read write and execute user group I believe because I think you can do chmod x as well regardless um, let's nano this so I can show you the actual code I am not the best scripter on the face of the planet this is actually probably like my fifth script I've ever written in bash so please bear with me so Essentially, this is all just garbly gook, you know, blah, blah, blah. And then it's going to run the three commands. These three commands are exactly the same with the exception of the double ampersand. The double ampersand at the end means that the next command will not run until the first command has finished and succeeded. The and succeeded part is actually important. Because what you can actually do is edit these ampersands to be a double pipe and the next line will actually continue regardless if the first line succeeded or failed. So, it doesn't really matter what I do. So, see, now we have, since we have the uh, chmod to run it, we're going to. So, chmod, hello, this is the alpha, blah, blah, blah. And it just begins like the previous script of adding it to our keyring. Adds it to our keyring, it does an apt get request. Once this is complete, it does the apt get install request. And then just goes through the install of actually installing Java. So that's about it. If you found this useful, please let me know. Um, well, I always love feedback regardless. Uh, please do check out the Linux for News subreddit. I'm always there almost all the time, so if nobody else will probably answer your questions, I will probably be there. But apart from that, thanks guys. Have a good one.